Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to the vlog. Great fishes vlog. Hello, internet, and welcome to another vlog. I haven't done one of these for a while, and I apologise. And today is a very special day. It's Father's Day for all you fathers out there that really <laughs> haven't had a cab this year. Uh, don't uh, don't worry about it. I'm sure your sons really do love you. Uh, the thing is, right? The thing is, um, if you haven't got a cab for your father, the fathers don't really care about that. It's, pretty much like Mother's Day, but this year I really felt like I needed to get a card, and I don't know why, I was kind of pushed into it, so I did, you know, and I bought my dad um, um, a chocolate medal, a chocolate gold medal from Cadbury's, and I put in the card, um, to, uh, to uh, you really deserve the card, I'm sorry, because I got it late, I apologise but to him, but thing is I got it late, I actually got it on the fly, but uh, I do most of my stuff like that, and I wrote into it, um, uh, you, you deserve a card on Father's Day, and uh, for being the best dad, you get the gold medal, and I put the gold medal in there, and I give it to him, um, which was actually, I think, was a really nice gesture, I mean, um, I had to look around there to see what was in there, and that's pretty much what I could get, at least I didn't get him some, like, you know, t um, uh, bubble bath and uh, and some salt bath salts and uh, some makeup <laughs> or or even better I didn't go to um, um, a gas station and buy like a liter of oil although to be honest giving a liter of oil to a to a father who hasn't got much money is actually quite a good thing to do anyway I digress actually it wasn't well this is basically what I wanted to talk about no I'm joking I got some other things. Right, it looks like um, uh, I've, I've written the script now for um, uh, Mind Task, and it seems like it's going ahead. Uh, if my parents go away, then we'll begin um, Mind Task within that week uh, that they go away, and then the rest of the time it's going to be hard to find the time to record it. So, what I need from you guys is all those people that are. Have a spot on Mind Task. If you can tell me, right, tell me what days and what times would be better for you to record, and then we'll try and uh, build a compromise there from those times. So if you could put it in the, just uh, post in the comments about when the best time for you would be to uh, whatever. If I don't get any comments, I will ask you individually. I don't really want to do that. If you can do this for me, so do it, right? Um, I don't know if Zula Jin is even going to see this, but if he does, thank you very much. I'm going to be sending the script to you eventually, once I can work out exactly how to send it. I'm sure there's some kind of file sending thing, I can do it, it's quite easy, I can, I'm sure I can work it out. But if you've got some suggestions of file sharing stuff over the internet, please post in the comments about that too. Okay, so is there anything else I wanted to talk about? I suppose there's only one other thing I wanted to talk about, and I'm going to do that right now. And that is that, and, and a lot of people are going to be like, oh, Jace, we're sick of your Minecraft, right? I like Minecraft. It's one of my uh, games where I relax, right? So obviously, because I like Minecraft, I post a lot of Minecraft videos. Now, the reason I do this is, like I said, I like it. And also, I was thinking, well, while I'm doing that, I might as well be doing my other hobby because this is my hobby. You are watching me at my hobby. This is my hobby, right? I do this for fun. I don't, I do it to entertain you in a, it, I do do it to entertain you because if I didn't do it to entertain you, then really it wouldn't be much of a hobby. I wouldn't be very good at it, would I? But what I'm saying is, I, I do it to entertain you, but this is to entertain me as well. So if I enjoy playing Minecraft, I am going to play Minecraft and I'm going to post videos. At the moment, I'm enjoying playing uh, Vinyl Fantasy 2, which I'm doing uh, some uh, videos. Now, the thing is, right, I thought of Toxic Minecraft before. And I know, you've probably noticed, there hasn't been a Toxic Minecraft for like a few weeks. And the reason being is because it's not what I thought it was going to be. It really isn't. I thought it was going to be fun, I thought that I was going to enjoy it, and I was going to have thousands of comments about what I should do in each video, and then, you know, it would spiral out of control and be this great beast of, a, of an idea, but unfortunately it didn't work out that way. What I actually got was a few comments from some people, and thank you for the comments I did get, but I didn't have as many as I thought I was going to get, and because of that, unfortunately, I stopped having fun doing Toxic Minecraft. I'm sorry guys. If you really want me to carry on doing it, I will. If you want me to carry on, post in the comments. 
Now what I'm saying is now is is I want us to talk about something else as well, and that is the enchanting table in Minecraft. Now I've noticed that the the words and the letters of the um, you know, on the enchanting table, right, actually do spell out words. It's done by the uh, standard galactic alphabet, which you can find on Google. I have it on my computer, and I did some translations. But then I did some more research because the words didn't kind of make sense. I mean, you get some random jumbled words like fire, fire, um, beast, wheat, and I'm like, what? What? So I looked it up, and apparently, even though it does give you words and it is a structured word, it doesn't have anything to do with the fact. Well, with what enchant you're going to get when you hit it. When you hit the, the, the box to go to put your enchant on your item, it takes the category number in a menu and then selects randomly from a pick of about five enchants or six enchants in that block and then randomly picks one from there. So you can, you can probably work out after a while which block or which number is associated with which block it randomly chooses from probably could do some kind of uh, uh, breaking and entering into the uh, into the XE program itself and find the enchanting table uh, information and find out which blocks are which or you could probably just google it because someone's probably already done it but what I'm saying is the words got nothing to do with it it's the number so, you know, say you've got like 50 XP, you'll have like a small list of things you can get for 50 XP and it'll give you randomly which one it is. And it is for each number. It is from, um, I believe it's from 7. Yeah, I believe it's from, no, from 3, I think it's from 3 to 50, I think. I don't think there is a 1-1, one, one, but there might be a 1-1-1. One, 1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1